this is Ritesh Gupta. I'm a research scholar in, in metallurgical and material engineering department in MNI Jaipur, India. Um, uh, my research work is on prediction of conventional grip test parameter using small punch grip test. I would like to thank my co-authors, Abhish Kumar Mishra, Dr. Krishna Kumar, and Dr. Abhishek Tiwari. So, uh, in this presentation, I'll be talking about uh, the, uh, the introduction or the uh, advantages of small punch grip test over initial grip test, uh, followed by the objectives. Uh, and then we'll talk about the uh, equivalent uh, estimation of equivalent equivalent grip strain and equivalent grip stress uh, and grip uh, grip parameter estimations um, model using the uh, not law uh, and, and in the final part of my presentation I'll be, I'll be talking about the uh, result and discussions with the conclusion so the uh, these are the highlights of my presentation. Uh, the small punch grip test method. We have chosen the small punch grip test method uh, for the prediction of grip behavior of uh, two different materials. Uh, that is Incola 800H and uh, Sericro 25. Uh, as we know that SPCT is a is a is a non-destructive testing, non-destructive uh, test test technique, and and, uh, and, it, and it uses a very small amount of material, unlike the conventional grip unixial grip test. So the finite element software Abacus is used for the modeling and the simulation of uh, two different materials uh, that is Incola 800H and Sonicro 25 and the simulation, and the simulation results are uh, validated, validated with the experiment da experimental data which was uh, published earlier. After that four different models are used uh, that is Yang model, Haide model, Shisheng model and Zhao model. Uh, to calculate the equivalent strength and stress from the output data of the SPCT uh, or to convert uh, the output data of SPCT into the uh, equivalent, uh, that is the output data of SPCT, that is the displacement versus time, into the equivalent strain and equivalent stress. From that, we can calculate the three parameters, that is A and N, by using the Norton law. So, we also know that the uh, accuracy of the trip behavior, behavior is also dependent on the uh, location of measurement of the uh, of the measurement data uh, in case of SPCT. So in this work, I am also analyzing the, I am incorporating four different locations. Uh, that is the upper node and lower, uh, lower node at the center location and upper node and lower node at the maximum thinning location. At these four points, I am trying to uh, evaluate the three parameters using SPCT data. Finally, this, uh, finally, the study concludes that the Zao model is most, most accurate uh, in, in the prediction of grip behavior uh, using the SPCT data and uh, by, by talking about the uh, accuracy uh, or by, by talking about the uh, location measure, uh, measurement location, the, central, uh, the upper node central location is found to be the most reliable location. So to begin, to begin with uh, uh, the introduction, as we know that uh, many of the or various uh, components in the nuclear power plants uh, undergo grip deformation due to the elevated temperature. So to assess their uh, life, uh, we have to uh, we have to analyze or we have to understand their grip behavior under the grip conditions. So to do that, there is a common test technique which is available, and that is a uniaxial grip test or tensile grip test, uh, but that this, te this test technique comes with certain restrictions and that is the, uh, the requirement of significant amount of material for the testing. For that, uh, entire facility has to go uh, or may need to be shut down. So to overcome this, this uh, drawback, a revolutionary efficient and cost effective technique was introduced in 1981 by Manhattan and that is called small punch grip test. So major advantages of this technique is that it uses very small amount of material and that is why it is called a non destructive test technique. So this is a typical semantic diagram of small punch grip test where we can see the miniature disc specimen is hold between upper die, lower die and the force is applied uh, from the upper side with the help of punching rod. 
So now, uh, uh, talking about the objectives of my, my research work, is, the, uh, is to examine the behavior of Incola 800H and Senico 25 materials under a small punch grip test conditions and and using uh, and using the data obtained from SPCT, uh, three parameters are calculated. Uh, by looking at this uh, uh, flow chart, we can see that uh, 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 the conventional way uh, for the prediction of three parameters is a uniaxial creep test. Uh, but uh, and the output data of uh, uniaxial creep test is in terms of creep strain versus time. Uh, after that, we can convert this. Uh, we can calculate grip parameters by uh, using this uh, this data coming from UCT uh, but but uh, my methodology uh, in this work is to use the output data of small punch grip test that is the displacement versus time uh, and after that using the different analytical models which which converts this displacement versus time data into grip strain versus time data and with the help of Norton's law, we can calculate the three parameters by using the SPCT data. And also, we are proposing a, mod uh, we are proposing a modification in the uh, existing model uh, by, uh, with the, by replacing a displacement location, uh, displacement location uh, with the uh, location of maximum thinning. So now, uh, talking about the equivalent uh, strain estimations, so there are various methods available uh, to to uh, predict the or to uh, to predict the equivalent uh, creep strain uh, from the small punch creep data. Out of this, uh, these four models are widely used. One of them is uh, Chakravarti model, uh, which uh, which is which was proposed by Chakravarti uh, in 1990s uh, or, or maybe 1980s. Uh, it assumes uh, sample as a membrane and it neglects the, neglects the thickness of the specimen. Uh, to overcome this uh, uh, drawback in Chakravarti model, Haide et al. in 2009 has proposed a new model which has considered the thickness of the specimen and assumes the specimen as a conical is in the conical shape. Uh, that is shown in figure B. You can see the specimen is of the conical shape. Uh, but the practical, but the sample in the experimental conditions will be different. It will not be, uh, uh, it will not be of the, uh, not be in the conical shape. But it will somehow will be like this uh, mixture or the combination of conical shape and the spherical shape. So Shisheng et al. in 2017 has proposed a new geometrical model that comprises of two geometries. That one is spherical and the second is. Uh, one is the conical, the second is the spherical. Uh, and later on, uh, Zhao et al. in 2019 has proposed a new model, a modified corn model, which is a modified version of Shisheng model that comprises of three different geometries, volume A, volume B, and volume C, that is shown in figure D, to get the better results. So we are uh, simulating or we are estimating the equivalent grip strain uh, using all these uh, four models available. So uh, these are the expressions, mathematical expressions uh, used to calculate the equivalent creep strain using the SPCT data. Uh, you can see that uh, the creep strain, that is epsilon, is uh, expressed as a function of delta, which is the displacement. So by using this equation, we can directly convert the um, SPCT output data with, uh, into the creep, equivalent creep strain data. These are the four models. Now, talking about the equivalent stress. Now, after the uh, after the after the estimation of equivalent equivalent strain, we'll talk about the uh, estimation of uh, equivalent stress. So, in two thousand six, uh, an explicit form of equation was introduced by European Stand uh, Committee of Standardization, which is uh, expressed as a function of geometry, and that is p by sigma. And this equation, in this equation, R represents the radius of the punch head, and H naught in it, H naught is the um, H naught is the thickness of the specimen, and A P is the radius of lower lower die, radius of uh, hole of lower die. So.
So NKP is a uh, is a correlation factor which which is dependent on the material and environmental conditions. By using this uh, this these equations, you can convert the SPCT load into the equivalent stress. The SPCT load load is P and the stress is sigma. From the previous uh, equations, you can convert delta into epsilon, and from this equation, you can convert P into sigma. So by using this analogy. I am converting the output data of SPCT, which is displacement versus time, into the epsilon versus time, that is creep strain versus time. Now, I will uh, talk about the creep property estimation model. Uh, there, is an, uh, there is a Norton model which establishes the correlation between minimum strain rate and the stress, uh, which are temperature dependent. And this uh, to determine the creep constant a and n to determine the creep constant a and n for a specific specific materials the creep tests are performed at different stress levels and temperatures and the resulting data is then uh, is then uh, is then constructed uh, with the help of this resulting data we have, we, we have constructed the norton plot which is a, which is a logarithmic plot of uh, minimum creep strain Versus, uh, uh, and stress and the slope of this line represents the uh, creep, uh, creep, creep parameter n and the inter, uh, intercept of this line will give you the value of capital A that is creep parameter now we will talk about the numerical simulations and materials so this study involves the uh, previously tested models for two different materials that is Incola 800H and uh, Sinecro 25 with the identical geometry and the boundary conditions. Uh, Abacus, finite element software Abacus is used to model and simulate the small punch grip test. Uh, this is the axis symmetric uh, uh, model of uh, axis symmetric design of this small punch grip test. Uh, and this one, the graph B, is the uh, is the result of simulation of small punch creep test, uh, in which you can so show uh, which we, you can see the four different locations, uh, that is the upper node and lower node at the central location, and upper node and lower node at the maximum training location. So we are using this. So the result, so the results of the uh, small punch creep test, that is delta versus time. Uh, have been compared with the published data, experimental data, to validate its accuracy. And you can see uh, the experimental results and FM results are very close to each other initially, but they differ uh, subsequently. And this is because the the we are only simulating the secondary grip zone, but ex in ex but in experimental conditions, all the three grip stages, that is primary grip, secondary grip, and tertiary grip. They're happening all together. So after this, so this is the final uh, part of my presentation. We'll talk about the uh, comparison of equivalent strength of SPCT with the uniaxial creep strain. So this figure depicts the uh, comparison of equivalent strength values obtained using the Yang model, Heide model, Shisheng model, and Zhao model with the uniaxial creep strain for Incola 800H and Senecro 25. You can see that this black line is the uh, uniaxial creep test data and this red line is the, uh, is the, is the uh, creep strain which is obtained using Zao model and this blue line is the creep strain which is obtained using Heider model. Uh, we can see from this figure that uh, the, the strain values obtained using uh, Zao model is most or is the is a, it, it resemble more with the uniaxial creep test creep test data? So Zao model is giving the most accurate and reliable result as compared to other three results in our case, uh, or for these two materials. And the trend is similar for those for, for both the materials for Incola 800H and for Senecro 25 both. So in this slide, we'll talk about the uh, location. About the, we'll talk about the influence of location of measurement uh, in case of SPCT. So we are uh, we are measuring the 
displacement at four different locations that is the upper node lower node at the central location and upper node lower node at the maximum thinning locations uh, and we are comparing this uh, grip strain values with the uct data we can see uh, from the figure that the use uh, the 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 grip data at the upper node central locations uh, are nearest or nearer to the uct data that is this one both are this one so we can conclude that uh, we can uh, we can say that that the spct data at the upper node location at the central location is most uh, is more reliable as compared to the other three locations and this is because or this could be because of the uh, because the, this this node experiences high stress as compared to the other locations but we are still uh, working on it and to you know to we are finding more to for for this result we are working on it now the final is uh, final uh, part of my presentation is the estimation of creep property estimate uh, creep property of creep parameters uh, estimation using spct data so by incorporating the uh, the norton law which is epsilon dot is equal to a into sigma s to n and the spct data we have by using the uh, four models that is uh, that is yang model haider model shishank model and zhao model we are calculating the three parameters that is a and n for all four models and we are comparing these values with uct the parameters obtained from uct that is uniaxial creep test and we can see that uh, the results obtained from zhao models are the uh, more consistent with the uct data uh, this is the uct data and this this pink is the data obtained using zhao model and trained for both the materials are same for ingola 800h and senicro 25 for both the parameters for a and for n as well as So this is the conclusions. The results showed that the creep parameters obtained from SPCT were generally consistent with those obtained from uniaxial test, indicating that SPCT can be used as an alternative alternative method for the estimation or for the evaluation of creep uh, conventional creep parameters. And the second is the Zhao model is found to be the most accurate in the prediction of creep parameters. And the third conclusion is. accuracy of creep behavior assessment is influenced by the location of measurement and with uh, the upper node of the central location providing the most accurate and reliable results thank you thank you for listening stimulated two quite different materials and the ksp for sure is not the same yeah so have a look at that Oh, yeah. So more, more, more a comment than a, than a question. Other question? I may have some question on the one of the last uh, slides. This one? Uh, yes, I cannot see what what are the values of the experiments. <laughs>